from 3D Render and Beyond to our first series called Back to Basics. Back to Basics will cover several programs like Cinema 4D, V-Ray for Cinema 4D, Marvelous Designer, and Photoshop. These tutorials will help out both beginners that want to learn and get to know these programs, but also more advanced users that might find some useful tips and tricks. In this tutorial, we will only see how the program is organized, something extremely useful in order to follow future tutorials. As you can see, I have divided the screen in different areas. In the top left hand side, you can see the icon palettes, also known as toolbars, that contain the most popular commands. In the center, we have the view panels. The view panels are a collection of up to four viewports and are the heart of the program. This is where you build and animate your 3D models. On the right hand side we have the object manager which contains all your scenes elements such as objects, lights and cameras. The material manager contains all the materials for the scene. We will talk about the material manager in depth once we start talking about the render engine. As render engine we will be using V-Ray for Cinema 4D the render engine used for all the renders you've seen on our Facebook page. The coordinate manager is a manager used for precision modeling or manipulating objects. For example, rather than scaling an object in the view panel, you can enter the exact size in the coordinate manager. The attribute manager displays all properties and settings of a selected object, a material, a camera, or a light. These properties and settings can also be edited here in the Attribute Manager. The properties of many Cinema 4D tools can be displayed here as well. For example, here we have a cube and you can see the cube in all four of the view panels. You can see the cube listed in the Object Manager and you can see also the cube all down below in the Attributes Manager. Where you have, for example, in this case, the three dimensions X, Y, and Z that can be modified right here. Thank you for following this tutorial. If you enjoyed, do check out the following tutorial number two that will cover modeling techniques, how viewports work, generators, and types of displays in viewports. Follow our Facebook page for news and updates.